My beloved brothers and my beloved sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat. I'm sending you this message to provide an update on things that's happening at Masjid al Siddiq and to continue to communicate with all of you during these times when we are not allowed to be physically together, but able to still communicate with each other via video and audio and other uh, communication methods. By now we're entering our third week where the, the masjid is closed until further notice for the daily salah, for Salat al Jummah. And this is uh, something that is very difficult for us as Muslims, where we are attached to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we uh, go to the masjid not only to worship him, but also to find uh, communion and to find uh, togetherness with our brothers and our sisters. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us uh, at this time to alleviate our suffering and alleviate this uh, disease that is amongst us so that we may once again open the masjid uh, very quickly. While the masjid is closed, our madrasa and our Quran classes continue online for the older students. The madrasa is uh, continuing until our scheduled date uh, to close. Inshallah, uh, if you your child is going to the masjid or going to the madrasa, uh, please contact your child's teacher with any questions. They will be in contact with you, inshallah. At this time, we're all asked to continue practicing social distancing and stay at home in adherence to the guidelines from the authorities. Uh, things are changing and continue to evolve very quickly. So it is important for us to pay attention to what's going on around us, outside of the home, uh, stay in contact with others, uh, pay attention to the news to understand uh, what uh, rules and regulations might apply. Currently in the state of New York, the guidance from the governor about uh, practicing social distancing and remaining at home where only uh, essential workers are allowed to, uh, to, to go into work uh, remain in effect until April 15th. Uh, the guidance from the federal authorities from places like the CDC and, and the federal government is uh, to practice social distancing at least until April 30th. Uh, we continue to uh, monitor the situation, listen and find out what is happening and be able to provide all of you uh, updates as we make decisions with regards to the masjid. I want to also take this time to extend a thank you and a heartfelt gratitude to all of the medical professionals and first responders who are putting their lives at risk uh, to treat our loved ones, but also putting their lives at risk to protect us. Uh, and so we pray for them and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh, guide them and uh, protect them uh, to, to do their work and help uh, protect us all. Uh, during this time. On April 5th coming up, it would be our annual blood drive. And this is something that as uh, Muslims and as members of Masjid as siddiq we have, alhamdulillah, been able to donate uh, many, many pints of blood in the past. Last year, we collectively donated 53 pints of blood. And this blood uh, is being used to provide life-saving uh, support for those that are in need of blood. Uh, at this time, uh, we have been in contact with the New York Blood Center and unfortunately we've had to cancel our blood drive at the masjid this year. But we're using this opportunity to implore all of you uh, to please go to the New York Blood Center website. They are still accepting donations, but the donations have to be at their locations. Uh, they're not able to take donations at our locations because of the sanitizing of the place and so on and so forth. So we ask you to please uh, go on to their website. Uh, that's www.nybloodcenter.org. And if you're able to make a donation, please uh, do so. Go into their office and make a donation. At this time, they have had a lot of their blood uh, drives canceled and not so much impacting the patients from the COVID-19 because uh, COVID-19 is a respiratory uh, disease and as such, blood may not be required for those patients, but the normal supply of blood that they would have received for patients uh, that need um, essential medical procedures, essential operations, 
that blood supply isn't there. And so they're asking us uh, to make an appeal. Uh, if you are able to provide blood, please donate blood. We also recognize that many of us might be going through economic difficulties. At this time, we know that uh, the medical challenges are on the top of our mind. Uh, and so we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect um, us and protect our families. But we also know that many of us ha might have been laid off or furloughed or are not getting income. And so we want to remind all of you that the federal and local authorities are offering support and accommodations with resources and programs that are available. If you are in one of these uh, situations where you're, you, you, you've lost your job or you need support, financial support, um, we ask you to uh, make sure you're aware of all of the programs and activities uh, from the government. At Masjid Siddiq, we have uh, consolidated a list of all of these resources on our website. They can be found on the homepage of our website. If you go to www.assidiq.org, you can find a link there with resources and we're doing our best to try to put as many as we can that we can find. There's information there for individuals, information there for families, information also uh, available for small businesses uh, that uh, the city might be able to offer uh, in terms of resources and help that can help us get through this uh, period of difficulty. If as an individual or as a family, after you've exhausted these options, uh, and you're still not able to get some support or some assistance, uh, Majid as Sadiq is going to try to do our best to assist those that we can. Uh, if you can send us an email, if you're finding yourself in this situation, uh, please, you can send us an email. The email address is help, H-E-L-P, at assadiq.org. That's H-E-L-P at A-S-S-I-D-D-I-Q dot O-R-G. Uh, we'll review your case, and if it's possible for us to provide some help or assistance, uh, we may be able to do so. Uh, preference will be given to those that are uh, within proximity to the masjid, inshallah. Uh, lastly, uh, we also know that uh, there are many out there who are m amongst us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed to, to be Muslims, has blessed with Iman, has blessed with uh, family and has blessed with security in the form of wealth. And so as the month of Ramadan is approaching, many of us might be uh, thinking about and uh, uh, looking at how do we pay our zakat this year. Uh, Mazir as Sadiq, Alhamdulillah, you have all donated. Many people have donated over the past years. Last year, we were able to distribute about $90,000 in zakat to those that need, both uh, here locally in, in the New York and United States, but also internationally and abroad. Most of the zakat that as Sadiq uh, donates out stays locally here in New York area to help those in need. Um, and so we're also asking uh, for you to keep Masjid as Sadiq in mind as you're thinking about your zakat for uh, Ramadan that's coming up inshallah. You can pay your zakat at our website, go, G-O dot as A-S-S-I-D-D-I-Q dot O-R-G slash donate, D-O-N-A-T-E. Um, we also would like to take this opportunity to remind everyone that the masjid itself has uh, expenses, ongoing operating expenses, bills that uh, we need to continue to pay, uh, elevator monitoring, fire, uh, fire alarm monitoring, and so on and so forth, uh, that uh, we're doing our best to try to uh, conserve as much cost as we can but at the same time, there are some that we still would need your support. And so we ask you to please remember Masjid as Sadiq. Uh, you can go to that same website and make a donation or a contribution to the Masjid, inshallah. As I close here, I want to first um, uh, pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us uh, from uh, getting this virus. And for those that he has afflicted with the virus, uh, we know that this is part of the qadr of Allah. Uh, there is uh, potentially some benefit in it for all for us to reflect. Uh, if our family has this and is going through this, let us take an opportunity to reflect and reconnect with our Creator. 
uh, and rest assured that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not give us a burden greater than we can bear. Uh, we also want to remind you that uh, we are here for each other. This is an opportunity for us to continue to communicate and reach out to each other. If uh, you have a family member that you haven't spoken to in a while, check in on them. Uh, if you have a friend, uh, you know, give them a call, uh, send them a text. Uh, just being able to reach out and communicate uh, can, can be all the help that someone might need and all the, the, the blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might be able to inspire that person to do something. And so this is all part of how we can stay, stay connected uh, even though we might be physically apart, we might still be somewhat socially connected uh, to each other. Uh, we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants cure and shifa to all of those that are suffering with this uh, illness. Uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect all of us that are not uh, afflicted with it, to keep us healthy and keep us safe and keep us uh, protected and um, ease us of this trial. Uh, we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and bless your family and uh, grant all of us Jannah. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.